from a, from a competitive standpoint, man, like when you were world champ, you know, let's just say that you was just like, all right, I got the belt. I'm ready to move up. But you just had this one guy in particular that just kept bugging you and just kept talking shit to you everywhere you went. He was just calling you out. Like, would you stay or would you try to move up? I guess what I'm getting at is Shakur is the one guy at 135 that's consistently calling out Devin, no matter what. Do you think it's a situation where Dev should be like, yo, I do want to move up, but Shakur's calling me out every two seconds. I got to fight this dude tomorrow, man. <laughs> no, honestly, I wish that was Tank calling Devin out. <laughs> And the reason I say that is because, you know, I, I, I work with Shakur uh, in his last camp. Um, mm -hmm. Shakur is a hell of a fighter and a bad dude, man. He, you know, he's a real good fighter. So to me, Devin shouldn't fight him drain. Like he just too good. Uh, Shakur, not saying Tank ain't good. And the reason why I'm saying he should fight Tank because the bag is astronomical. Yeah. To me, to me. Devin and Shakur, the fight won't do us justice now. That's a fight to me that I think got to marinate a few years, like maybe down the line at 140. Like, uh, because I think that both of them, that that's a fight that deserve to get the most buys possible. Like, kind of like a Spence and Crawford. Like, yeah. I think the fight a little down the line, because now if they fought, I don't think they would get the buys that they deserve, being, you know, the fighters that I think that they're going to both become. Is it kind of, I mean, it, it does make sense. And in, in my view, I, I do think that they probably should fight at maybe 140 if Shakur gets up there. You you don't want to, yeah, you, you really don't want to fight Shakur if you're not 100%. No, I try, <laughs> I, you know, of course I worked with Devin Long, but I, I worked with Shakur's last camp. Yeah. You got to be on your AAA plus everything with him. Like he just, you know, dude is a, a freak of nature. Like outside of, when Devin move up, I mean, I see him dominating that division. Like, I mean, I would, I would accept any. I would accept Loma and Tank, or I would like to see uh, Loma and Shakur or Sh Shakur and Tank. But I, we ain't gonna see that either. I don't think. But um, I, I like any one of them in the round robin, or I would like to even see, uh, um, you know, any of them fights in the round robin. Uh, uh, be good to me, even if Tank fought. To me, I think Tank and Lumachenko would be a good option, other than Devin and um and Shakur, because I think that'd do a million plus buys. When you look at a guy like Devin, he's super competitive, man. So is it difficult, even for you, somebody that's a real good friend of his? Is it kind of difficult to to kind of hammer it home to him to just say, "Look, I think you can beat Shakur," but you really have to get to 140 to be at your best. You know, 135, it's, it's just taking a little bit too much out of you to fight a guy like Shakur. Is it difficult to kind of hammer that home to him, or does Devin kind of understand that? I think he understands it. You know, we talked the morning after he fought, and um, that was my opinion. I mean, my opinion was him going up a couple years ago, and he was with it, and he was going to do that, and his dad was with it. But he got the call to fight JoJo Diaz, so – you know, uh, he had to take that opportunity. Then the undisputed, you know, that came about. Uh, so he kind of was, you know, stuck there. And he honored the, he honored the deal with top rank, you know, to do the two with Cambosis in Australia and the one with um, Lumachenko. So to, so to in my honest opinion, if, if he don't fight Tank at 35, he just need to go up and fight at uh, 140 because that's what's best for him and his – if for him to bring out his ability and the power that he, you know, he got more power at that weight as well. So people be like, oh, he don't get the knockout. That's because maybe it's because he grow, he's growing and he don't have his full power at that weight. Mm, makes sense. Um, in terms of, let's just say Devin doesn't go up to 140, which he probably is, if I had to guess. You know, the, the two other guys other than Devin is going to be Shakur and it's going to be Tank. Um that fight plays out. How would you see that fight happening, man? Well, uh, my honest opinion is I wouldn't fight Shakur at 35. No, I'm talking I, about Tank. Tank and Shakur. Oh, Tank. Yeah, oh, Tank yeah, yeah. and Shakur. Tank, each sure. other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I ain't going to lie. You know, me working with Shakur mm -hmm. this last camp. I, see, Tank is a monster. I've seen him up close, but I worked with Shakur. And I seen 
box consistently. Shakur is damn near unbeatable to mm. me. He is like just at that weight when you look like, okay, I see Devin and Shakur being that Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence one day. Mm. But take that fight out the equation, man. I don't, I don't, I mean, shit, you better hurt his ass or knock him out because, but it's hard to hit the cat. Like, dude, Shakur got real defense. When I say real defense, that means against anybody. Like, see, some guys get a facade that they that certain attributes is better than the others off of who they fight. Mm. Some dudes, somebody might think, oh, he got power, he got defense. No, you got to look at the opponent. To me, Shakur, I mean, I've seen him spar with – he even sparred with Bud Crawford during this fight. You you saw it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, I got to ask for a little bit of details on that, brother. I got to well, know. Or, I mean, Terrence is bigger, and that's like his, you know, that's like Shakur's mentor, you know, pretty much so. But for him, what I seen just from him spawn with Shakur, it told me a lot. Like, just not even, you know, of course, you don't expect for him to be at a beat, bud, but just little things that I saw, I know, like, okay, this shit is real. Like, what he, what he got on the side is, is 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 real because he in there with, with Bud like and if he could you know you know what I mean so uh so pretty much that that sparring session in your view it wasn't like one sided or anything like that well Terrence wasn't going like super hard on him but what mm -hmm. I'm what I mean is you ain't no little fighters really gonna get in there with Terrence period like even if Terrence is going halfway you know Terrence is pound for pound the best in boxing right now. So for him to even to get in there and get them rounds in with Terry, it was good for both of them because to me, I was impressed with Terrence too because he was there just to come watch and he threw his shit on and probably sparred with half of the gym that day. So this was <laughs> now this, mind you, this is a couple months ago. Yeah. But I'm just saying, since we talking about Shakur right now, mm -hmm. I'm just saying some, you know, I just seen his overall skill level with a good fighter like uh, Terrence. But only for, what I'm saying is from the defensive side. Of course, he can't beat Terrence, but Shakur really is. Um, Sh Shakur's hype is, is is real. He is earned. Like he really, I see a lot of fighters right now that's overhyped. Shakur is really a great defensive fighter. Like he got great offense too. But I'm saying, I hear people throw out the terms a lot. Oh, this dude got deep. He he really got it. Shakur really got that. But Tank. Really got the power, and he could really box. He really is um got good timing, and, and um he's smart and he can adapt. But to me, uh, I don't see them fighting Shakur because they know Shakur. I'm not saying that they don't think they can beat him, or I'm not even saying that they're scared of him. But business wise, if I don't think that they want to, uh, I would love to see it. I would love to see the fight, but he a cash cow tank, so. Thinking from a cash cow perspective, are you gonna throw him in there with a dude that I just explained to you? <laughs> That's yeah. damn unbeatable. Like, and he get in the bag. Like that don't mean that he's scared. Now, Tank is capable of beating anybody because Tank is a monster. But he just becoming a cash cow where he flying out. He he got everybody flying to his fights right now. So I don't know. I don't think that's gonna happen. I think that Pitbull and uh. And um, pit bull versus um, tank will probably happen, but I would love to see. I would love to see. To me, I think it'd be fair, um, and nobody should complain. But if I was tank, this is me. I would like to see him fight Lumachenko. Mm. How would that play out? Thinking from business and um, a great fight, like people wishful. Obviously, I ain't gonna sell the dream to the fans <laughs> for the wishful thinking. Him and Shakur is not happening. Trust me. That ain't happening, believe me. So, and that ain't what Tank being scared. It's just that his business mix what all the other things like you know it's risk and it's business and all of that. So to me, I think that as good of a fighter that Lumachenko is, he's a threat. But I think that Tank Styles make fights. I think that Tank is the only one to possibly stop Lumachenko mm. because of his style. But Lumachenko could pull off a win. So it's still a 50-50 fight, but I think that with Tank's power, some of the shots that he get hit with and him, you know, really not 
to me, from my observation, is not really liking it to the body like that. Yeah. Devin, you know, did a lot of uh Salido, but by 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 Lumachenko having the IQ, the experience, and the, the great boxing ability, he can pull off a win on tank as well. So uh I would like to see, I think that that fight makes sense to get to keep him in that one plus million pay-per-view range. I would I would match that up. If it was my choice, that'd be the next fight. It'd be Lumachenko versus uh it'd be Lumachenko versus Shakur or Lumachenko versus Tank. But it de it depends what size you ask me from. If I'm Lumachenko's manager, I'm keeping him away from Shakur because I don't give him a chance to beat Shakur. Mm. I give him a good a good fight to watch, but I don't give him a shot to beat Shakur. I give him a shot to beat Tank and get a humongous bag. So if I if I'm uh, Lumachenko, I'd rather fight Tank. Wow. Okay. Um, love to hear it, man. Um, kind of jump into um to Devin. <clears throat> um, well, back to Devin. Um, Eddie Hearn just said that he is he does want to go up to one forty. He does want to fight Regis, and actually, Devin came out and said it on Twitter as well that he called Eddie and was just like you know he's interested in making that fight happen. Um. Would you? How do you look at Regis in terms of being at one forty? Do you think he is the top? Do you think he is the top guy? Do you think Josh Taylor is the top guy? And do you think it makes sense for Devin to just say, "All right, first fight at one forty, bring Regis," or do you think he should kind of ease his way in, maybe fight like a Jose Zapata, who isn't a soft touch, still a very good fighter, but not on the level of Regis though. Uh, well, to answer the first question, yeah, I got um Josh Taylor. I mean. Reads his hands down the best at 140. Hands down, no. Right now, yeah, hand, it's hands down to me. He's the best at 140 right now. Um, the only fighters, this what I would like. I would like if now nah, if Tia Fimo could get the win against Josh Taylor, mm -hmm. I would like for Devin to fight the winner to fight Tia Fimo because that'd be a big fight that he could, you know, that can be a big Las Vegas draw. Uh they got history, and I think that'd be a big fight. Tia Fimo versus Devin Haney. Um, and then Unify versus uh Regis. Mm. I, I think that that make a little more sense. Um, but I wouldn't be worried about Devin fighting Regis right off the bat, but I would take a, another touch. I don't know if I believe that, man. You ain't worried at all fighting Regis. I, nah, no, Regis is an animal, don't get me wrong, but I styles make fights to me. Mm. Regis does have the power. In his left hand, uh, but Devin to be stronger at 140. So I'm confident in him beating anybody at that weight. But I think that it still is a risk factor there, of course, to go straight to 140 to fight him. So me just putting both together, business and risk factor, I would take uh another fight. If he can't get Tia Fimo, I would take um another fight at 140 first. And to try to get some kind of belt and then unify with uh, Regis just to maximize everything. But uh, I think Devin could beat everybody at 140. From, from a risk factor standpoint, who do you think would – I mean, I know you think he'll beat either guy anyways, but which guy would make you kind of have a little bit of sleepless nights? Would, you, would it be Regis at 140 or would it be Tank at 35, man? Probably Tank at 35. Mm, okay. because uh because Devin is gonna be a little weaker at that weight he gonna be weaker at 35 so I would say uh I would say that's more of a risk but at the same time the bag the bag is gonna be huge so you know uh you know he, the crazy thing is I think Tank and Reed just would be a good fight I think Tank could beat everybody at 40 the only dude I would say is maybe Reed just has got only chance I give anybody. I think I think that Tank, I think Tank Shakur and Devin to be everybody at 140. The only dude that you could even factor in to me is Regis. If he if anybody can pull off, I think all three of them would beat everybody at 140. I mean, I, I know Tio hasn't looked as as sharp, but you know, he's still a great fighter in his own right. Oh, another one too. I think that'd be a good fight for Tank. I think Tank styles make fights to me. I think he'll stop Tia Fimo. Shit. All right. Tia Fimo was a good fighter. I think Tio might stop Ryan Garcia. Mm, okay. That's just the way I see the style matchups. Like styles make fights. Like, I think that Tia Fimo still can fight. Like long as his head is there, 
and he can get back his confidence and, and get back that swagger that he used to have, you know, if he can get that back and he don't have no personal issues in his life. Yeah. I like Tiafimo. Like he another dude that I'm gonna go and watch his fights. Like, you know, he can fight. Uh it, to me, it, he he is his he just gotta have his uh mental together to me. But these guys don't have that problem. Dudes like uh the Shakur, the Devin Haney, they all the way together hundred percent all across the board. Gotcha.